What's new in Loop? Look under the forward slash and soon you'll find components for Trello and Jira to bring them into your workspaces. If your team uses Trello for coordinating your tasks or Jira for managing issues, then you can add these components to bring them alongside your Loop content. Then make your notes, work on ideas and solutions together. You can refer to your Jira and Trello content directly from the Loop page. Now I can see this being quite useful for teams during their meetings, or if they need to be working together on a page at any time of day and uh, just need to update their items. So how does this work? Trello and Jira components will be found in the Loop Browser app on your desktop. You'll need to be signed in with the Microsoft 365 work or school account. Personal accounts don't work at this stage. Using Trello and Jira is a connected experience. To prepare, make sure that you're using optional connected experiences enabled in the Loop app. Go to Settings, Privacy, and turn the switch on. Now open your workspace in a page, drop a forward slash onto the page, and scroll down to the apps part of the components list. You'll see Jira and Trello there. So let's start with the Trello board. Choose Trello and then sign into the Trello app if you haven't already done so. Choose the board that you want to import. Loop imports the board content so that it can keep it in sync within the Loop app. A board is going to show up to 100 items. Now you can see the board and the cards. You'll also see a date and time showing when the board was last synced. What can you do with the board? You can change the assignment who is uh, assigned to a card. You can change the status on the card. You can drag it over to a different swim lane on the Trello board. Any changes that you make will be synced in near real time with the Trello website. If you ever need to open the full board on the Trello website, open the context menu for the board link. Now you signed in to Trello to add the board and import it into the Loop app you're going to be signed in for up to 24 hours. And while you are signed in, you can edit content within the Loop component for Trello or Jira. After that, you'll need to sign in again to edit content. But if you don't sign in, the board will still be there available in read-only mode. If you ever need to remove the board from the Loop page, you can delete the board. And deleting the board does not delete the content from Trello or Jira, just the component from the loop page. Jira follows a similar pattern. Add the Jira component, sign in, import the content. And with Jira, you can change assignments, you can change the date, you can change the status of the cards. Also on Jira cards, you can click the ID and that will take you through to the full card on the Jira website. Can you use Jira and Trello components in other places that Loop components are supported? Like if you go to a Teams chat and you add a Loop component there, can you use forward slash and add Trello or Jira? Or perhaps Outlook? If you remember, components are a little different when they are added directly from Teams chat, Outlook, and other similar experiences. They're just a page on their own. So there is no import process as you add the content to those pages. However, if you do want to share Jira or Trello content, you can start from the Loop page that you added it on in your Loop workspace. That's where the content has been imported. Select the component on the page and then turn it into a Loop component. We've done this before. You can go up to the corner and copy a link to that Loop component, then go over to the apps that support Loop components, paste it in there like in a Teams chat. Now this lets you share the content, but it remains as read-only when it's been sent out. Similarly, Trello and Jira content will be read-only when you're trying to view it from the Loop mobile app. Now this is a good first release. It brings in Jira and Trello content alongside the content we might be collaborating on in our Loop pages and workspaces. I think in teamwork scenarios, we're going to want to be able to add new items to our Trello boards or our Jira lists. 
and maybe add some comments to the content as well to keep our team up to date with what's happening with that particular card. Now, as you try these things out within the Loop app, remember the feedback button. We want to let the Loop development team know about any good feedback, any things that we like and we don't like about the, the new components for Trello and Jira. This is one way to let them know what you would like to see working for these two components. For teams that use planner boards for coordinating their tasks, we know that that's coming too. I'm really looking forward to see what else is going to be available in this app menu for when we insert loop components. What are other applications going to bring into this live experience of loop workspaces in the loop app?